Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Strange Structures in the Gobi Google Earth revealed some very strange things hiding in the middle of China's Gobi Desert. It was spotted not far from the headquarters of China's space program in Gansu, and also close to an old and reportedly disused nuclear test site. Curious structures were found in the desert. Some areas are shaped like rectangles, others appear to be circular, and there are even some that look like long runways. We're not sure what these things are. Tim Ripley, a defense expert, told reporters these circular structures look an awful lot like the missile test ranges at Area 51 in New Mexico. Even more disturbing is that some rectangular areas appear to be divided into grids like city streets, potentially used in experiments to test the impact of weapons in a modern setting. One of the airstrips is gray and looks old and abandoned, while another appears bright blue on the satellite images. Everything about this mysterious location screams secret government testing. There is even one area outlined as a square and littered with obviously destroyed vehicles. The vehicles look as though they were scorched by a high-energy detonation. No one has seen any missiles being launched or things being blown up here, and nobody knows if this site is still active. These images showed up on Google Maps, but that was back in 2011. Since then, we haven't gotten anything in the way of explanation for this secret place in the desert. Number 9. Crashed UFO Users of Google Earth have discovered yet another alien mystery. This one is not under the sea, but in the middle of it. An unknown object was identified on an uninhabited island in the Central Pacific, and it looks a lot like a flying saucer. The island in question is called Starbuck Island, and it's not much more than a sandy wasteland. Nobody lives on the island, it's completely abandoned, and doesn't even have any vegetation. It's empty except for a circular piece of debris that looks like it may be made out of metal. Behind the piece of debris is a long trail from where it appears to have skidded across the sand. Clearly, this thing crashed onto the island. The big question is whether it came from outer space or something a little more of this planet. Some have speculated the debris came from a shipwreck in the 1800s. It's historically accurate that many ships wrecked on the island in the 19th century. The piece of debris may have been flung onto the shore. The long trail behind it could be from decades of the object being dragged across the sand by the shifting tides. Unfortunately, no one has been able to confirm the object as being extraterrestrial, maybe from a satellite or potentially from a shipwreck. It's simply too isolated and too far away for anyone to reach. Number 8. Mysterious Hairy Beast A mysterious hairy beast was spotted lurking in the Canadian woodland thanks to Google Earth. An extremely curious citizen was using the Google Maps Street View to search along the Trans-Canada Highway. This is the main highway that runs all the way from the east coast of Canada to the west coast. It's an extraordinarily long road that takes over 70 hours to navigate. It's flanked by some of the most pristine wilderness in the world. If Bigfoot lived anywhere, it would be in the remote wilderness of Canada. It was along an isolated stretch of road in British Columbia that the hairy beast was found. Unfortunately, the creature can only be seen from a single angle. It's extremely blurry and could be anything from a meandering bear to a broken tree. However, the blurry shape does look a lot like a humanoid, like something walking upright through the forest. The street view captured the exact moment the creature stepped between some trees. Sadly, there is no way to confirm the mysterious creature as even being a creature. Some have argued the image shows a burned tree stump and nothing more. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 7. Black Hole Island A mysterious black hole island discovered on Google Earth is freaking everybody out. An island with what appears to be a hole of pure darkness was found on Google Earth in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It's called Vostok Island, and it looks like a place where you might fall through into another dimension. In reality, the island is uninhabited and about 400 miles from Tahiti. It was discovered in 1820 by Russian Antarctic explorer Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen. Starting in 1979, the island was made into a wildlife sanctuary and has been relatively untouched ever since. So, how can we explain the black hole in the center of the island looking like a pit of death? 
One of the possible explanations is that the satellite image is too low resolution. Because the island is uninhabited and protected, it's covered in indigenous flora. The black hole could be a thick canopy of pisonia trees. These trees grow nearly 100 feet tall. They could be packed so tightly together that they've created a roof of blackness to trick the satellite images. On the other hand, maybe there is a big black hole threatening to swallow the Earth. Just kidding, probably not. And now for number six, but first, it's shout out time. I want to say a big thank you to Savannah and Angela Hernandez. Thanks so much for watching and supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number six, giant snake skeleton. Paleontologist Alex Hastings says the largest snake that ever lived was the Titanoboa. It had a maximum length of an estimated 42 feet. The creature lived millions of years ago in what is today the jungles of Colombia. Nothing even remotely like it has existed ever since. And yet photographs surfaced in 2022 of a gigantic snake skeleton off the coast of France. The pictures were taken with Google Earth, revealing a serpent over 425 feet long. That would make the biggest snake that ever lived look like a tiny worm, something you would accidentally step on during a walk in the rain. The images of the massive snake skeleton took the internet by storm. Nobody could understand what was going on, if a huge serpent's bones had been uncovered, or if it was all just a hoax. As it turned out, this skeleton is real. The only thing is that it isn't a biological skeleton. It's a metal sculpture called the Serpent of the Ocean. The art installation is located west of Nantes in this small town of saint bravant le pont It's approximately 425 feet long and has been on the beach since 2012. The snake was created by Chinese artist Huang Yongping. Although it does look like a paleontologist's dream, and the snake can indeed be seen from satellites, it's not really the fossilized skeleton of a prehistoric serpent. Number 5. Creepy Abandoned Mansion A very strange abandoned mansion has been found on Google Maps. The mansion was supposedly abandoned by its millionaire owner in the middle of the night, and the story behind it is exceptionally spooky. It was in 2020 that an urban explorer entered the home on a whim. The explorer discovered it in Hertfordshire in the UK, sitting quiet and alone in the middle of the countryside. There was a Bentley rusting in the driveway, and the previously manicured garden was unruly and overgrown. It was obvious that something strange had happened here. When the urban explorer went inside, he found clean dishes stacked beside the sink, near where the kitchen ceiling had caved in. Designer clothes were still hanging in closets upstairs. It looked as though whoever owned this place walked out the front door one day and never came back. After a bit of investigating, the owner of the house was identified as Athanasios Takminsis, a Greek millionaire. He purchased the house in 1999, lived there for 20 years as a recluse, and then abandoned the home in 2016. It was only in 2022 that pictures of the eerie mansion showed up on Google Earth, renewing interest in the bizarre story and giving everyone a glimpse of the property. Villagers nearby have spoken up to give their side of the story. They say the Greek millionaire was obsessed with security. He once had security guards positioned at the gates to stop anyone from entering. He also allegedly had vicious Doberman dogs wandering the grounds to protect his house. No one knows what was going on here, where the millionaire went in 2016, or why the house is still sitting abandoned. Number 4. Circle in the Ocean A mysterious circular shape was found under the ocean thanks to Google Earth. The circle is about 4.2 miles in diameter, 352 miles from the coast of Lima in Peru. It rises up from the bottom of the ocean almost like a mountain. It appears to be an artifact of some kind. Scott Waring, an infamous UFO conspiracy theorist, claims the circular shape is 100% proof of ancient aliens. He believes it's not a geological formation or a glitch in mapping software. Scott says the underwater artifact is a crashed UFO, something that's sitting on an undersea mountain perhaps, and being kept a secret by global governments. Keep in mind that Scott Waring is the same person who claimed to discover a monkey on Mars while looking through NASA photographs. He also claimed to discover a Martian body killed in battle a million years ago. 
But there is one thing that makes Scott's claim of a sunken alien ship surprisingly believable. The mysterious circle is located just off the coast near the Nazca Lines, strange geoglyphs carved 2,000 years ago. Many people believe the geoglyphs were carved by the ancient Nazca people as a way to communicate with visitors from the stars. These alien interlopers may have hovered over the Nazca in their spaceships, and so the primitive people drew designs in the dirt to show who they were as a species. It could be that one of these visiting ships had a malfunction, crashed into the ocean, and has only now been discovered on Google Earth. Number 3. North Korean Prison Camps in 2013, human rights activists used Google Earth to identify a terrifying network of prison camps in North Korea. The rights group claimed the prison camps were occupied by as many as 200,000 people, people considered hostile to the North Korean regime. The activists were part of a group called North Korean Economy Watch. They used Google Earth images to identify camps, guard posts, office buildings, and checkpoints surrounding a barren patch of wasteland that hosts a coal mine. One of the reasons this was such a big deal was that North Korea had denied the existence of such facilities. Yet thanks to high-resolution satellite pictures, there was no way to deny it. According to the activists, many of the inmates at these prison camps were forced to survive eating nothing but rats that they can catch with their bare hands. 40% die from malnutrition, while many others succumb to disease and torture. Number 2. The Underwater Wall An unbelievable underwater wall that stretches across the entire planet has allegedly been found on Google Earth. The wall stretches for tens of thousands of miles across the bottom of the ocean, and was supposedly first found off the coast of Mexico. The wall looks like a large lump of Earth rising off the seabed and stretching way off into the distance. It almost looks like a seam, like a bumpy stitch used to close the Earth itself. It goes on and on across the ocean as if to circle the entire globe. The conspiracy theorists who are perpetuating the discovery believe the formation's linearity indicates it can't possibly be natural. They say it was built at a time when the Earth was much different and many parts of the ocean were dry land. This would mean the wall, which stretches across the ocean from Baja California, was built by a civilization not entirely human, a civilization that lived millions of years ago. Then again, this might not be a wall at all. It could be something known as image stitching. More rational minds have argued that Google Earth uses different satellite images while putting together its map of the ocean floor. Sometimes the images get jumbled. When certain parts of the map don't fit properly, it can create an image stitch. In other words, overlapping fields of view may have produced what appears to be a gigantic wall across the globe. Rather than a piece of physical history, it could just be a shortcoming of the computer software used by Google Earth. Number 1. Sacrificial Gates In the dry, desolate, and inhospitable desert of Saudi Arabia, an archaeologist has found some incredible, enormous structures. Hundreds of mysterious stone gates have been found throughout the desert, and they may have been used in bloody rituals. There are roughly 400 previously undocumented stone constructs in the Arabian desert. Locals call them works of the old men, and say they were built by nomadic tribes thousands of years ago. David Kennedy, an archaeologist from the University of Western Australia, says Saudi Arabia is filled with archaeological treasures. It's not just an empty desert, but a place that was inhabited by humans for nearly 10,000 years or longer. Kennedy has been researching the general area since 1997. He says the newly discovered gates were built by the ancestors of the modern Bedouin people and that they could be anywhere from 2,000 to 9,000 years old. The truly staggering thing is that we don't really know what the structures were used for. Some say they were for hunting, some say for ritual. The gates go on for over a mile and consist of two converging walls that get narrower and narrower until a sudden end. This was almost definitely a way to funnel stampedes of animals into a concentrated spot, then slaughter them. What archaeologists can't agree on is why all the animals needed to be slaughtered. It would make sense to hunt a few, but not to participate in a massacre. After all, they couldn't exactly put all the uneaten meat into the freezer and save it for a special occasion. 
It could be that the ancient desert dwellers were participating in a massive blood sacrifice, honoring whatever mysterious gods they worshipped. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite discovery from Google Earth? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye!